Hi guys, it's Natalie Mary here, and today I'm here to do another video on this kinky blowout hair from Her Given Hair. And today's video is going to be a styling tutorial. So I'm gonna show you guys some styles that you can achieve on this kinky blowout, black girl magic situation that I have going on on my head. I did already do an install video for you all, so if you're wondering how I snatched these edges and got it to look so, so natural, then go back and watch my previous tutorial. Let's get right into it. All right, so the first style I am such a fan of. I think it's absolutely stunning. I love when I see girls wearing this style. And it's just a middle part. And I'm gonna do two braids going to the back. So I gotta be intuitive to use this gift. It's like fluid when it oozes. But right as black a grid, I can leave it clueless. My ambitions to use and not abuse it. Me without grooves, the same mechanics without they cool kits. <laughs> Can't work without my tools, man. Yup. I take two steps forward, five steps back. Lately I've been lazy like the way Mace rap. I lazy like the way Johnny Cash used to sing. Maybe lately yeah, that's the reason Cash ain't been coming in. And this you tried to play me, met me with some roses. Must have thought I was stupider than the three stooges. I'm gonna put a hair tie on this part because I want to actually connect the braid that I do on this side. Cooped up for months trying to spit fire they can ride to. Pull up to that drive through. Tell them this that newbie right to true. Can I really So I'm gonna break this side now. That shit got car speakers like the ones I own. Had to pan them to the left cause the right one was gone. You riding on chrome, I was riding on plastic. Two of them are cracked cause I hit a curb distracted. Hit, but ain't no big deal. May not have a nice whip, but I still got whip appeal. Take two steps forward, five steps back. Lately I've been lazy like the way Mace rap. I lazy like the way Johnny Cash used to sing. Maybe lately yeah, that's the reason Cash ain't been coming in. Okay, so now I'm going to connect these two braids. I write, I write, I write raps for a living. Perhaps I've been given a gift that is envied by mathematicians. But are we that different? We both work in labs. While they dissect formulas, I dissect rhythms. But I don't get paid much. And this is really going to be interesting trying to connect these two while it's on my head. If it wasn't on my head, I could do it. Try to shut me down so I can be my tumble dumb. Okay, now that they are centered, I'm going to begin. I'm going to begin connecting them. I'm going to find three strands of hair and try to evenly distribute the amount of hair in each section and proceed to braid. Now I'm going to add a hair tie to the end. So this is our first style. Perfect for the summer. And how crazy awesome does that hairline look? Looks so freaking natural. next hairstyle that I'm going to try is going to be a ninja bun. I guess that's what you call it. So I'm going to try that out now. Okay, I just grabbed a wide tooth comb to see if this would help me in manipulating the hair a little more. So I just split it in half. So I just have the first half that I'm going to put in a ponytail and then I'm going to pull the second half up. Alright, so here's another style. You could just wear it with a ponytail at the top and hair down at the bottom. I'm going to take some bobby pins and flatten out the top. They're by 
scrunchy. The unit has lifted in the back, but I'm just gonna pull it down, insert the combs once again, and add bobby pins. So I'm just gonna take out some baby hair. You see how adding those combs really help, right? Okay, so now for the bun. All right, so I'm gonna put the donut around this ponytail. Hopefully it fits, cause it's massive. So I'm just gonna fan out the hair that's at the top. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna begin taking sections of hair about this size, and I'm gonna begin twisting. So I'm just gonna twist it. Let me make sure you guys can see that. So I'm gonna clamp this out of the way. I'm just gonna roll this area and then pin it down. Now this leftover piece, I'm gonna roll it around my finger. So I'm just rolling this area. And then I'm gonna bring this back in the opposite direction. And I'm gonna pin it. I'm gonna bring some of this hair down to cover my donut. So this is the bun that we created. It looks so good. All right guys, so in order to conceal the lace and the start of the unit in the back, I use these pins and these have the opening in the front. Don't use the ones that are closed. You can, but I feel that these are better. And I still have some that's not quite concealed. You wanna do this in the mirror or maybe have a friend to help you and it will conceal that area. So what I did is I took a hairpin, see how it has the opening, and I merely grabbed some of the hair that's near where the unit starts on the side and I just kind of pulled it down and tucked it under. 
I'm going to do it again. Grab some hair near the bottom. I'm going to pull it down and insert the bobby pin. And you can do this all the way around, but you shouldn't need to. Just some areas really need it. And this helps to keep the unit as close to your hairline as possible. I'll hold you close, never let go. Down with the hair and insert it in. But this is just another way to help to keep it as close to your scalp as possible, which creates a very natural look. Yeah. It's funny how you came across my path, yeah. I can give you that good love and that will last. So place the other mister in your past. So I'm really excited about how this bun turned out. It looks very chic and very classy. It was really quick and easy. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to use the link down in the description box. I look forward to your comments and feedback. Go back and check the previous video out so that you can see how I installed. And if you want to know how I remove the unit, then let me show you really quickly. So I do have this lace glue remover and i purchased this at my local beauty supply store it was only two dollars and it's the same brand as the adhesive that i used but i'm just going to merely spray it onto the area where i applied the glue and hopefully it comes out and my edges don't come along with it so we're going to try this out the instructions indicate that you're supposed to spray this lace glue remover on the areas where you applied the adhesive and the reaction time should only be a minute depending on how much glue you actually used. So I'm going to spray this on and then in the areas where there's still maybe some residue, I'll just wash it off with water. But let's see if it comes off quick and easy. Oh, it's just gonna... Wow, it's lifting right up. Okay, this is messing up my makeup, but it's okay. The end of the day, we're taking it off anyway. Make sure you satisfy the you are a true, you are one of a kind. And I ain't leaving until you are mine. I'll hold you close. Never now we did it. <laughs> yes. Probably have to just wash the front of this to get the rest of this stocking cap off. But it was a great install, and I really enjoy using that adhesive. It's easy to apply and easy to remove. Oh, girl, I'll hold 